Speaking of which, got some breaking news from the New York Fed today. Let's get over to Steve Leesman. Hey, Steve. Yeah, Carl, uh, a report from the New York Fed on an issue that we're following closely here, which is household debt and credit. It did rise a modest 1.3 percent in the third quarter. That's the most in three quarters, but still below averages, say, from before the pandemic. And I'm going to be saying that a lot from this report, comparing the current change to the before the pandemic. Balances did rise for mortgages, credit cards and autos. And here's the important question about delinquency rates. They were up 0.4 percentage points. That's a healthy rise, but to 3 percent, which is still well below the pandemic, the pre-pandemic levels, which average close to 5 percent. So they're rising, but they're not yet at the prior level. There was an increase in new delinquencies. That's probably the most worrisome part of this report. And when we say new, we mean debts that's newly 30 plus days delinquent. It rose for all debt types. Overall, new delinquency rates are, again, below the pre-pandemic levels, but they surged for autos and for credit cards. Delinquency rates were rising faster in low-income areas and generally among younger people than older people. They're rising quickly for those with both autos and student loans, according to a New York Fed blog. Uh, You can take a look at the balances here that we're talking about, or the delinquency balances. There's the chart. Up, up a good amount, but then on your left side of your screen is the delinquency rate before the pandemic. So it's up, but still below those average here. Quick, quick comments from Fed Governor uh, Chris Waller, guys. He said the movement in the 10-year yield, according to a Reuters uh, uh, headline, has been, quote, an earthquake. The labor market, he said, is cooler and getting closer to pre-pandemic levels. So I'll leave it there with you guys.